uh, hello uh, nbix 2020 delegates this is uh, praharshit sharma uh, under uh, the supervision of dr pritish kumar varadwaj at indian institute of information technology allahabad prayagraj uttar pradesh india uh, our topic for the video abstract for nbix 2020 is trigonometric compositional analysis of dna sequences using binomial expansion theorem with coefficient perturbations so what is the rationale or motivation behind the work basically we are assuming that for the sake of simplicity a particular piece of dna or cdna uh, sequence consists of purely non-low complexity unambiguous bases namely adenine thymine guanine and cytosine and now it is evident that uh, when we do a n-gram analysis of such as dna or cdna sequence it's always normalized in the sense that the relative frequency of uh, the basis uh, adds up to 1. So speaking purely from a compositional data analysis perspective, we can begin with a 0 gram analysis so as to say uh, 4 power 0 is 1, right? So we have a 0 gram analysis, we consider that to be 80 percentage and GC percentage com uh, composition or computation and fit the composition analysis of further n grams into natural number exponentiation of the trigonometric identity uh, which we know is the famous uh, Archimedes or Pythagoras identity uh, in terms of uh, trigonometrical functions sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 uh, so the objectives of this work are to potentially characterize any DNA or cDNA sequence uh, using a unique singular value x as per the above fun fundamental trigonometric identity equivalence to Pythagoras seems so let's take 80 GC 80 percent is 0.5 GC percentage is 0.5 so 0.5 plus 0.5 is equal to 1 and sine square x is equal to cos square x is equal to 1 by 2 and x is equal to 5 by 4 in the acute angle uh, regime and uh, again squaring this equation we have sine power 4x plus cos power 4x plus half sine square of 2x is equal to 1 and solving this as well we get uh, x is equal to 5 by 4 uh, radians or in sexagesimal system it's 45 degrees and this is the direction further expanding to 2 grams we get uh, sine square x plus cos square x power 4 is sine square x power 4 plus 4 sine square x cube cos square x plus 6 x square cos uh, sine square x uh, plus co into cos square x square plus uh, 4 sine square x cos square x cube uh, and uh, cos square x power 4 yes so in this way we can see that for any number of n mers or k mers uh, we get uh, the exact uh, number of terms which can be equated with coefficient perturbations of this binomial expansion for 64 which is going to be triplet frequency right so we can cube this equation we'll get 64 terms and uh, it can be noted here that subject to Taylor series expansion sine x and cos x can be approximated to any desired position purely in terms of x as per the two infinite series below and conclusions, a sequence walking scheme based on compositional data analysis perspective purely using fundamental trigonometric identity and its binomial expansion is presented here. Further work involves subparameters in the coefficients of the Pascal triangle of such expansions in order to determine potentially a singular x value as described above. From such a deterministic approach, it is envisaged that trigonometric genome compression can be achieved and perfected as a genome sequence in question, for example, H19 Homo sapiens 3.3 gigabits per can be retrieved using X itself. So, basically, can explain GC percentage bias in the quadratic case because if it is a quadratic case, uh, it's going to be sine per 4x plus cos per 4x plus half of sine squared 2x is equal to 1. Yes, so. Okay, uh, thank you. To transform or to not transform, a power per theme paper on composition and data analysis uh, from the Central Ecological Science IC Bank is one for reference here. Yes, thank you very much.